Hello, my name is Cristian Melendez Lopez and I have worked at Catholic Relief Services for the past five years. A couple of years back, I had the chance to go visit the Food for Education program in Honduras, similar as the one that Myra is a part of. During my visit, I met two young boys, Elmer and Edgar. Um, they were very small in size and I was kind of surprised when they told me they were about to graduate from elementary school. However, they are 12 years old. Um, the teacher mentioned that that is the case with a lot of the children um, at his school uh, due to lack of access to appropriate nutrition. The students receive a daily snack and this is very important because this is a very poor community and the snack that they receive at the school is about half of the total nutrition for the day. The mothers volunteer daily to cook the meal for the children and I was able to connect with some of them because I do this at my son's school here in the U.S. However, the difference is that these mothers um, are given the ingredients because they're not able to afford them and we as parents here in the U.S. are able to contribute to make the meals. When I came back to the U.S. I always kept Edgar in mind and also his brothers. He told me that they would walk about three kilometers daily to get water for the family because they didn't have any running water at home. Every time that we open the faucet at home, I've tried to make it a routine to think of them and pray for Edgar and his family, and also to give thanks for the benefit of having running water at home and having the basic needs fulfilled on a regular basis. When I pray, when I fast, and when I give alms, it reminds me that we can change lives of children like Elmer and Edgar. So on behalf of Catholic Relief Services, thank you for your sacrifices during the season of Lent.